All right, I thought I'd give you guys a bit of a first person view of what I'm up to with this guy. Because we've got to get to him. And uh, essentially every day, every day, I will, yeah, from this point, but every day so far, because it's only been one day. Um, every time I pass by his paddock, I, I try to get to him. And I touch him and then I'll walk off. So essentially it'll look like this. I'll come up and I'll give a little bump. And if he looks like he's going to accept a little bit more, I'll try a little bit more and just come up and, and get him a little bit quiet. Her, and then I'll leave. I'll walk away and get on with my, my day and the things that I'm going to do. Um, and hopefully over time, every time I come into his paddock, he won't wander off like he just did now to a different corner, a different spot. And I try to mess around a little bit like that. And my goal, or one of my goals, is to have him follow me away. My goal is to be able to create enough draw that when I show up, not only does he not leave, that's incredible. I have never, ever had him do this yet. Hey, buddy. Good boy. Trying to be cautious with my hands. We can reach like this, but um, tends to make them a little nervous because it looks a bit grabby compared to having a closed hand and sort of rubbing with the fingers a bit, the outside of the fingers rather than the very tactile parts of our fingers. Um, I've never had him come to me like that before. I'm actually quite happy with that. I want to be able to see his eyes. Um, if, if I were to explain where I was looking, I would say I'm probably looking more here, but once in a while I'll look up over here. I'm very close to him. So it'll actually be a little bit hard for him to focus on exactly where my eyeballs are looking. So I don't know if it matters to him that much, precision, but I'm definitely offering a very quiet, gentle approach. Um, the one thing that I think is important to consider, which could be a bit of a difference between the American Mustangs that get captured compared to the Wildies that cap get captured, is we don't tend to use, uh, you know, helicopters and big roundup techniques. They usually get rounded up a little bit more by hand. So they don't have a lot of the um, experiences with humans that others might to where they would feel very afraid of humans because their experience so far with humans are minimal and not too bad. He'll be more inclined to want to be around, especially if I offer something that feels kind of nice. You know, he might get a bit of scratchings on his face and his eyes and uh and it might feel nice and it could hopefully translate to something you know some other spot in his body <clears throat> and he might come up and ask for that at some point right now he's only offering his face so we want to take that for uh what it is i was just about to start to approach he had a little shake so i thought i'd pause because i didn't want to or what I believe suddenly appear in front of them from a head shake because I don't think their vision works all that well while they're shaking their head around. Um, he's just looking over at Roni right now. Uh, he's just doing nothing. Um, it'd be nice if he would have uh, followed me again, but he didn't. So we'll come up to him and we'll continue to give some solid scratches. I'm putting a little pressure on it now. He says, how about the top of that eyeball? Yeah, I can help you a bit there. Being very, very cautious. 
There, I'll back up a little. I'm hoping to be his best friend. I'll go with him. I'm not trying to cut him off. I don't want him to think that I want him to stop or not pay attention to whatever he's feeling like he wants to pay attention to. Um, but just to kind of go with him. So I'll try not to look at him, but I'll try to go with him. But I'm sort of pointing the camera at him so you can see. Roni's getting a little worried. He's thinking about leaving. I think he's already lost this fight and it hasn't even begun. Although it did a little yesterday. He's getting some of his energy, I think. Um, so I'm coming up on this side of his body and he's not getting too worried, which is unusual. We'll give him some more scratches. And this is a bit of the process of what we want to do. We want to become their friend, become something that they, they think about having around because it's peaceful and nice and hopefully it feels good for any grooming purposes. It's got some pretty dry skin, but I think that'll go away. See, while we do this, we can also examine, see if there's any problems. Doesn't have any open wounds of any sorts. Doesn't look like at all. And if we come over this way, we'll see if we can get him to wander around a little. Oh, that's not bad. But this is the goal and this is the viewpoint that uh, I'm at. You guys are looking at what I look at. A little bit lower, my eyes are up higher, but <clears throat> he's kind of talking to me. He says, hey, how about some of that food out of those hay bags? Can you give me some of that? So let's see what we can do for him. I'm coming behind him. And so there he's going to have a nibble. He is actually eating out of the hay bags, but he loves it when I take, here he comes. He knows already what it means when I finally get the hay bag off. And uh, open it up. And we'll grab the rest of this and just plain dump it out. And uh, I've kind of added in the hay bag to slow him down a little. This is some alfalfa in here. And he's been getting this and Timothy. Uh, he really enjoys the alfalfa, obviously. Want to get some protein in him. Want to get his energy up. Hopefully get him healthy. Be his friend, food provider. It's good. See, I stand up. He didn't. He didn't feel the need to come up with me, which is fantastic. So there's lots to watch and lots to pay attention to when you're just sort of milling around or trying to pet him or scratch him. Watching the ears, watching the eyes, watching reactions. Do they go away? Do they come near? So I've actually already attained my goal. Uh, long pack there of having him come towards me. Uh, we're making we're making good friends. <laughs> You're not going to be able to chew that up, you silly. Maybe you will. Forget it. Change my mind. I don't think you would. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's a wrap. I think we're going to leave it at that. Sorry for the construction noise. The neighbor's working on something. 
over a couple of yards over, but if you just tune it out, it should be good. Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll definitely uh, keep taking video of what's going on with this guy and how we're working with him, build him up, be emotionally stronger. Find that humans are quite useful and learn a lot from us and uh, he can get his education that he needs to survive in this world. And I'll see you guys in the next one.